Uh, we have some news coming in from Keta where we understand uh, hundreds of residents of Keta in the Voto region masked up at a radio station, that's Jubilee Radio, after the municipal chief executive Godwin uh, Duji Efa ordered the police to close down the station. Now, here's a reason why. This followed an alleged suspected case of COVID-19 involving a 41-year-old sailor who had been at sea for over 30 days in a fishing vessel. Oscar Kaba is a journalist uh, who joins us live uh, from Keta now. Oscar, thank you for your time this evening. We're seeing videos of uh, what exactly happened, but uh, why did the MC specifically go to the radio station to order the, the closure? What were they doing? Uh, actually, this was a, a total surprise to the residents of Keta. Why? such a directive should be given by the municipal chief executive when uh, this issue of COVID-19 becomes a stakeholder issue where everybody is expected to, to be part of trying to fight COVID-19. Like you said in your intro, there was this suspected case of uh, uh, a fisherman or a, a trailer who was seen and brought ashore by some of the residents in Buchakofe. So we were told uh, they send the people to they send the, the set the team to the Keta Municipal Hospital. But unfortunately, it looks like the radio station was also doing his uh, way at the media house to inform the people to to stay put, to stay in their homes because you know if such news happens, some people want to catch a glimpse or they want to get closer to the place. I think that is what the radio station was trying to do to inform the community or the people of Keta that they have seen something like this, but everybody should stay put. But unfortunately, this um, morning, uh, the news came and I asked to the place, and I saw a whole crowd of youth came out saying no. They won't allow their only source of information. So, so are you saying, Oscar, that the radio station was just educating the public or trying to uh, that, keep, that, keep... That is correct. That is really the case. That is because I, I, I spoke to the morning show host, I spoke to the news editor and all online now. And why what, what, what is the call for uh, police to be there they want to go on the radio station? And the whole community was I see. So uh, no, so the, the, let me let me let me find out this oh. to protect it being closed down. Oscar, so it wasn't as though the, the host of the, the program then was putting out information that was creating fear and panic, possibly, in the area. Honestly, I analyzed the whole uh, um, uh, uh, program this morning, uh, this morning, and I, I to the end, I called the, the news presenter, the morning show was himself. Can, can you really please to me? I, I'm told you are creating fear and panic. He says, no. Senior brother, senior comrade, okay. this is not an issue. We're only educating our people because it is, it is, it is our social responsibility. Okay. Because uh, is a serious thing and we need to right. inform our people. This is what he told me. Okay, thank you very much. Oscar Kaba is a journalist in Keta uh, joining us at the moment. And, and I must say this, that um, we're trying to raise the municipal chief executive of uh, the area, the Keta, to better understand this because um, we are not um, really also um, uh, apprised with the details of exactly what was said on that particular program. And so we, we would want to get clarity on that. And so for you out there, viewers, will also be a better judge of exactly what happened there. Now, Godwin Eduji uh, Efa is a municipal chief executive. He joins me on the telephone uh, for some up, up, uh, some clarity on exactly what happened and what led to the decision to close down that radio station, that order that he gave. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Eduji Efa, can you hear me? Good evening to you. Good evening. Great. Now, we understand that you gave an order for a radio station in Keta to be closed because they were talking about a suspected case of COVID-19 in the area. Can you please explain to us exactly what happened? All right. Good evening to you and then your listeners. Um, the Keta MC has given an order for a radio station to be closed because they spoke about 
sohbete keyif. Hem de ya sokun evlatı sohbete keyif. That is a, a good news. Why should we give an order for that radio station to be closed? I have not given any order for the radio station to be closed. Right. The minister, the regional minister, has not asked me to close up any radio station. And there is no intention of closing that radio station. So, what exactly did you do? I mean, what order did you give to the police that led to the crowd massing up at the radio station, as we are seeing right now in the video that we are we showing? Uh, uh, to be frank, how did the public know that an order has been given to the police? How but, did they mass up? Is that what you it have was, I mean, the you. Radio, the, the radio host that morning that was misinforming the public about the suspected case that we have left the person to be roaming in town. The general service at the municipal level, the assembly have left the person to be roaming in town. And then they are um, infecting other people with the COVID 19 viral. Meanwhile, the person is, under, is, is in quarantine. Me, and then the, the, the official folks who brought him from upstream also are under quarantine. So, if you want to talk about this, you want to say the truth, then you come to us. Come to the Minister of Health Directorate, or you come to the MC, take information, relevant information for us, and you present to the public. So, they were just causing fear and panic. And then the district commander, as the chairman of the task force for the COVID-19, mm -hmm. was who went to the radio station to invite him to come and meet the municipal security committee and then receive some education right. at that level and go back and, and inform the public on the facts. Okay. I see. And so he didn't come immediately. So he came later in the afternoon. Okay. After the so meeting. Right, so why is, why is the, the person, the suspected patient now? It's at the holding center in the municipality. And then the, the, the official folks are also quarantined somewhere. I see. So and what's, what's his condition on, now? On what's his condition now? Do you know? Um, when we came to the seashore, we took him to... To the hospital. Uh, initial tests were conducted on him. Uh, he didn't show any symptom of the COVID 19. But for us to be sure, uh, maybe most to an attend, we took samples on, on him and sent to the Noguchi Memorial Research Institute okay. in Accra for, for a confirmation. And then the result right. is not yet out. We are sure that tomorrow. We should hear something from Accra and then confirm okay. whether it's positive or not. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Godwin Eduji Ifa is a municipal chief executive for Keta.